For those of you that are brand new to the gym, today we'll be talking about how to select a barbell. You should not assume that the barbell at the gym that you're going to is the correct barbell for strength training. So the standard Olympic style barbell is 20 kilograms, roughly, let's just round up to 45 pounds. So this is the starting strength bar. This was designed by Mark Ripito. This thing is made for starting strength. One thing you wanna make sure of, if you're at a commercial gym, you're not training at one of our gyms, is that your barbell does not have a hex screw attachment, because that's dangerous. Um, you don't want the sleeve of the barbell falling off during a heavy squat. So check for that. Also check to make sure that there's adequate knurling on the bar. If it's too slippery, even with chalk, you're going to have trouble making a connection to the barbell. Some gyms have knurling that's too sharp and that can cut into your hands. That's less common though. So the most important part about selecting a barbell if you're at a commercial gym is making sure that the thing weighs what you think it weighs. I've been to many commercial gyms where I've gone over to the scale with the barbell and weighed the thing and it's not 45 pounds. So if you think you're squatting 225 that day and you've got two plates on either end of the barbell, but you haven't weighed the barbell, you may not be squatting 225. So grab the thing, take it over to the scale and weigh it. This particular bar, if you're, if you're doing a home gym, is worth buying because it's a damn good value. So it's the Starting Strength Bar by Texas Power Bars. Um, and this was designed, like I said, by Mark Ripito. So it's got a center knurling, which you want. A center knurling is crucial for making sure the bar is attached to your back in the squat. Um, it's also useful to center your shins on the deadlift. So you know when you start with your shin placement roughly between the two knurling lines, that's where most people start and you can adjust from there. In addition to a barbell, you will need collars. Collars are non-optional. So a collar will firmly attach the plates to the barbell. One note on the collars though, do not use these on the bench press because if you get stuck at the bottom and you don't have a spotter and you don't have the safety set, your only option to get out from underneath that barbell is to slide the plates off one side at a time. If you've collared the barbell, you cannot do that and that's a dangerous situation. The barbell is a crucially important piece of equipment, so make sure you've got the right one at your commercial gym, or if you've got a home gym, or of course if you train at one of our gyms, we've got all the right stuff here, whether it's a junior bar, a technique bar, um, a safety squat bar, we've got all different types based on your preference and needs. If you're new to the gym, you should do the starting strength program because it is the fastest way to get stronger. If you need help, that's what the YouTube channel is for, so make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of the most current video or you can click here to see the next one in the series. And if you need further help, check out the links in the description below. You can hire an online coach. You can go to one of our gyms if there's one in your town, or you can apply to become a gym owner. Thank you.